Hello, it's Sarah, and today I am binding my art journal that we created in 2017. And because it's all separate pages, um, I decided to follow the tutorial by Marta. And thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca Modal Richardson. She's the one who shared that Marta had already done a binding for her single page um, art journal and it's going to work perfectly so that's what I'm going with and I've been playing around this morning I've already messed up one thing so I'll probably go off camera and do it um, with you. I'm going to do it with you because you can always watch Marta's tutorial she did a lot of hit and miss too. Um, we have well, I have 12, I have 13, 14 pages because I did two extra ones. I did a Valentine's and I did two Christmas. So, um, depending on how many pages you want to bind, you're going to do an accordion. So, all, you're, all you need is paper and you're going to up, down, up, down, up, down. So, this is two pieces attached that I already messed up and had to scrap. So, I should have one more peek. But basically, I happen to have this Canson art, um, I'm sorry, this is watercolor paper, paper, and it's 12 by 18. So all I've done is just fold it in half the long way. And cut it with my scissors because my, um, I don't have a, a, a cutting board that'll cut. Uh, you can use a uh, exacto blade, whatever, however you want to get this to go in half, or just use any paper, whatever paper, scrapbook paper. And basically, our pages, what were they like? Nine by six. So depending on the size of your page, you would change the size of your accordion. So we have. I just decided to go with three inches which is half the size of the page and then I'm going to glue them together you'll see um, hopefully that'll be all you need is three inches and because the paper is 18 we got three divided by 18 right is, is six so whatever all right so I just it is what it is but you don't have to do any math or anything it's fine so I'm just going to take my um, scoreboard which I happen to have and put this in and just go every three inches a score and I've got to not press too hard because I am so rough flip it around and do one more and then you're going to accordion fold so you're going to peak valley peak valley so up down And then I'm just going to score. And see how I rip the paper because I'm so rough when I score it. Just be gentle, guys. But basically now we have this accordion fold to create our pages. So I'm just going to add this to what I already have. And you want each peak is going to be where we're going to connect our pages. So this is going to be the binding back here. So I, I use the scoreboard because it was much easier for me to keep my binding even. Actually, I didn't do this one with a scoreboard. And you can tell it's like not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so you just want to continue the peak valley, peak valley. Let's see. So I'll turn this over. So that it, and I'm going to mark where I want to put my adhesive because this is where I messed up last time. Where's my pencil? And it'll just keep you from gluing the wrong side to the wrong side. So I basically want to glue these two sides together to keep it peak valley, peak valley, all right? So I am going to use, I happen to have this huge roll of double stick tape that I got for um, when I do my uh, embossing, my metal embossing. This is what I use to glue that, so I just take it and, oops, 
not very straight see every time I do something on camera I mess up right Matt yeah um, but anywho I'll put it over here <laughs> I have a little cheerleader in the other room all right so I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and stuck down Peel off the backing, and if you don't have this, use a glue stick, use wet glue, your ATG gun, whatever. I just have this, so I'm using it. Um, and then make sure I go with my X, so X to X, and tuck that in. Make sure it's straight. Alright, let's see how many um, pages I have now. I think I'll, I'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go off camera and attach this one. And then we'll attach our pages. And we'll create our little book. Alright, so I'll be right back. Okay. This, it's a little fat. I'm surprised. This isn't a lot of pages, but boy. Um... And this is looking like this is going to be the binding. And it's a bit wonky if you can see it. It goes in and out. This side actually looks better. So, I mean, I could do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I might do this side. I like this. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, so, but here's the thing. I've already had put a bunch of double stick tape and so yeah it does matter based on how I just did this um, yeah because this is going to be my first page and as I'm looking at it the binding needs to be glued together too so if I glue a page right here it's still going to be now and then I'll glue a page like that yeah I think I need to put some glue in here so I'm just going to take wet glue I haven't used this in a while and they've changed the packaging on the scotch quick dry adhesive it might even be called something different now but I love scotch quick quick dry adhesive it's um, super great to work with I've made lots of um, mini albums using it and um, so I'm just taking this and I'm going to adhere the back sides of the accordion and this will get uh, more help it'll be it'll get it'll be strong enough because I'm going to be gluing the pages to each other too so you'll see I just wanted to use the double stick tape because I have it and it'll just give me something to start with um, so I know it's stuck and then the rest of it can take its time and dry and all that so yeah it's gonna be really thick I'm surprised but when you're using this kind of thick paper um, maybe you guys you know it would work really good that I didn't even think of Tyvek Tyvek is a and I buy it from Staples in envelopes and um, look, here it is. I have a piece right here. Here it is. If you open this up, because it's probably much thinner, but this is what they use to um, put on houses. Like they'll put this as an underlayer on houses. And you'll see, if you drive by a, a construction site, it'll say Tyvek on, on the paper that they're using. But anyway, this is like industrial strength like you can't really even rip it so it's it would be great for a binding and I've used this in the past to um, reinforce a binding so I didn't even think of this but not everybody has tie back. I happen to have it but you know why I said that it's because it's thinner it's much thinner but it's super strong 
So that would be perfect for a binding. And you could cut that in half. And then Peak Valley, Peak Valley. Anywho. All right, let me get a sip of water. Um, let's see how this is. All right. So now see how the binding, it's like stuck together. See, so basically, there's your book. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to glue the pages to these little peaks. And this is for my cover. So page number one is going to go right here. And this was our January page. January. Now, anything that I've written on the back of the pages isn't going to show. So that's, I'll figure that out eventually. But, um... Here's what I want to do. So I'm going to peel this off and I'm going to line this edge up with the edge there. But I also want to see measurement wise, like this is what, six inches and this is nine. So it's a little bit off. So I want to go four and a half, right? Yeah, four and a half would make it the center. So if I go to Something like that, maybe. I'm being a little anal. Oop, I didn't want to stick this down. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> I almost stuck my... Uh, where was I? Four and a half. No, that's way off. I'm just eyeballing it because I can't. It's an inch and a half. That's what I want. All right. And then we're going to do the same thing with the next page, which is February. Time for spring. After this January, we'll be so ready for time for spring. And again, I'm just lining up the center, the hinge basically. And maybe even leave a little space, like a crack of space there. Because otherwise, it'll make the binding too tight. So you really, I kind of made that a little too close. And then just stick that down. Um, and then I wanted to, I should have put, oh man, I should put glue in here. I should have put glue. And I can do it. On the edge of glory. We're on the edge, the edge, the edge. All right. All right, this is why it's good to do it off camera at first because then you don't mess up on camera. But, you know, you know how I roll, guys. Just go with it. All right, I'm going to put a little in here. So my next one I'll do better. All right, so number one wasn't really good. I mean, you can just, you, I could just use my ATG gun, which I think I might try for my next page. Because this you do have to give a second, but it's super strong. You have to just give it a second to adhere. So I'm going to just give it a minute. And plus, um, the paper, this paper, see how it gets warpy? Because it's a uh, watercolor paper. It gets a little warpy. So my edges aren't completely straight. So I think the ATG gun might be where I want to go. I don't know. It's just that this um, Scotch Quick Dry is so strong. It's a very strong glue. So I'm just going to keep pressing. Yeah, and I mean, I used, on this one, we used all the um, mediums and stuff. So yeah, it's not sticking perfectly. But I don't think it has to be perfect. We just... Kiwi. I'm just going to hold it and give it a second to adhere. And I think Marta actually used her hot glue gun. So it's your adhesive of choice, but... Um, I was just thinking that 
I want it to be strong. Like I don't want it to peel apart and become, but it doesn't matter because it's a homemade journal and it's just somewhere to put these pages and be able to have a look back at it at some point and say, oh, cool, all right. So let's see what that looks like. Good. All right, so I'm gonna do, so this is February, but this is our Valentine's page that we did. I'm gonna peel off my double stick tape. And again, I'm not trying to really bump it right into that, but I wanna make my pages even if I can. And just give it some pressure. And then when I do the next page, I'm going to put glue all around this first. Or I could put the glue on here. That might be better. So take this off. And then I'm going to put glue. Oh. see how that goes now I'm thinking all right we're still straight so I'm just gonna go with I'm gonna have definitely have issues with the wet adhesive though because it's not it doesn't stick right away you have to give it a second to um, get it to stick. So the next page, I'll definitely try it with the ATG gun and see if I get a better result. I also have my Fabri-Tac, I have glue sticks, I have every adhesive there is. Or I'll just go back to this and I'll just start putting that on here. I mean, that's actually a good idea. I could just start putting it on the backs of um, the pages. That might be my best bet. But yeah, because we used watercolor paper, the paper's warpy. And um, it's just not flat, so you're going to have to coax it into position here. So it's, yeah, it's not like totally adhered. But it's getting there. Who loved our March page? Everybody. Did everybody love it? I did. All right, let's take this off and go with April. And then I think I'll try my ATG gun this time. And this is just double stick tape that comes out of a, a little gun like this. So you can put a really big piece, a big roll. I haven't actually used this in so long. And it's not the strongest adhesive. Sometimes, see, sometimes it can come off, or, but we will try it. Maybe I'll put a little bit on here too. So now we're going, um, oops. Definitely, so we're going this way. Now I have to adhere one that's going. I think I'm going to make mine, instead of facing this way, I'm going to face them this way. Just personal preference. I'm going to put a little bit on here. Rebecca so much for pointing this out to me you saved me girl you saved me because uh, I wouldn't have figured this out right away for sure and I wanted to get this bound so we can start working on our 2018 one so let's see how that just grabs see it just grabbed it just grabbed like it's done so I think I'm gonna do that here's June
All right, you guys, so I think you get the picture. It's basically, you just don't want to go too close to the fold in there so that it'll lay flat. And I'll go off camera and I'll adhere the rest of my pages. And then we'll talk about a cover. I'll be right back. Okay, um, it's all bound. Now we have to decide. I just broke my nail. See, this is how, this is my life these days. Just constant, yeah, whatever. Mm. All right, I left this one for a cover. So basically, I usually have a little piece of that paper hanging around, like with my, um, 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 um. all right, let's just go ahead and cut a piece. So this is my, I'm using, I've been using for this whole journal, mixed media paper and watercolor paper that's what I use for this whole journal um, and then I just cut it in half so this becomes it's 9 by 12 so I cut it at the 6 inch mark and then it's 9 by 6 and this is the size of our pages so and you don't have to I mean you could use chipboard Marta used a cereal box and she covered the cereal box with fabric which was super cute and maybe would be something you want to do. So I will connect and I may even put a backing on it to give it just that extra reinforcement but basically you want to do a back too. So I have extra an extra page. I am just going to because I'm, I'm, this is it. I'm not going to add any more to this um, art journal. I just want it to be for, um, I'm sorry, for 2017. So I'm trying to do this. It, you know, look, I'm just winging it here. Um, but that is going to be for my cover. I'm going to use scissors. I need one piece. I just don't want to mess it up now that I'm in the home stretch. Okay, that was easy enough. Just got a little nervous um, but you just need a flap for your front and back and actually this is doubled because I had up down up down and this is only single so I don't know if that makes a difference if it's going to make it stronger because it ultimately depends on this part being strong or not um, so yes yeah, so you're gonna have one there and one there and then I guess I have to make a cover for you guys but see adding um, uh, fabric was such a great idea or we could just collage it or I mean whatever so um, that's it I'm gonna leave you here and if I when I decide what I'm gonna do with my cover if I'm gonna do a specific you know elaborate 2017 because I mean maybe I'll just put bubble letters 2017 or whatever um, I'll let you know but I'm not gonna adhere these until I decide so, but here's our book. So here's January, February, Valentine's, March. I love March. March was so fun. April, May, June. I like June too because I just like collage. July was just doing the Zentangle with, um, what is that called? I can't remember the color of the paper. Um, what is this one? I wrote the, I wrote, let's see, trust, I just wrote it August. This one's August. Look, Kiwi's Feather. Here she is. Say hi, okay. All right. Um, September, October, November, December, and a bonus December. So, I like it. I think it's a done deal. So I'll go away and work on a cover idea and I'll get back to you. So if you want to go check out Marta, I'll put that link in the description box. Basically, she's just doing the same thing I did, figuring out along the way. Um, but thank you again so much, Rebecca. You guys are awesome. All right. Thanks for watching.